uh, I'll introduce my team first. Uh, we have, can we have the first slide, please? Uh, yeah, I have to my right uh, Dr. John Jose and to his right Lijo Vagis. Uh, Vijay, Vijay Samuel is not here today, but he was involved in an earlier part of this procedure a few days ago. And uh, Prabhu is our uh, vascular surgeon. He's, he's just done a cut down for us. Uh, and he was assisted by uh, Dr. Sam. And then we have our anesthetist Balaji. We have our registrars Pranay and Praveen. Then we have our cat lab team uh, led by Kezia, Shashi and uh, nurses by Joyce. And we have technical support from uh, Medtronic and Philips. Okay, next uh, slide please. So we'll get on with the case. I'll ask John to tell us a few things about the case. Yeah, hi and uh, good morning to you all. We'll give you a brief update of patient's problems and what we have done up to now. Our patient is a 64-year-old adult male. He's a hypertensive and smoker. He's undergone coronary angiogram and peripheral angiogram for complaints of effort angina for the past one year. And he was also found to have periumbilical expansile pulsations. So angiogram has shown significant coronary artery disease and a large infrarenal aortic aneurysm. Next. This is angiogram showing significant stenosis of the PLB and the left main. So CT angiogram shows a large infrarenal aortic aneurysm about uh, 6 cm in transverse diameter. Same thing is seen in the DSA as well as the CT angiogram. Okay, at this stage I'll uh, just intervene. Uh, this is uh, two Im images, one is showing the neck and the other is showing the lower end of the aneurysm. Uh, you can see that the neck is a, it's a good neck, it's uh, more than two centimeters and the diameter we measured was uh, about 20 millimeters average it's a little oval so 19 into 21 and the two common iliacs are in the region of uh, 10 to 11 millimeters and uh, the sac itself is quite large the maximum is around 6 centimeters so that was uh, quite favorable for an endovascular repair the only issue is he his what he came with is angina and uh, this was just an incidental finding he noted and uh, I think are we still on air just check because I can't hear my echo anymore. Sure we understood what you we told so it looks air. like yeah. uh, we are off the air. Can you hear? Yeah we know no, you're on you're on. Can you hear us? Yes. So it's it's a it's a ideal yeah. case okay. for doing a yes, infrarenal yes. Infrarenal. All right. Uh, the next slide, please. Okay. The the issue here is that he's got uh, significant coronary artery disease, and uh, part of that is left main, and uh, also a distal RCA with a PLB. And if you look at the uh, guidelines uh, put out by the Society of Vascular Surgery. In 2009, uh, they say that uh, if you have uh, uh, any of those conditions, uh, acute ST elevation MI, unstable angina or stable angina with left main or three vessel disease, then you need to do a coronary revascularization uh, prior to the aneurysm repair. And uh, the level of evidence is uh, good. Uh, and so, that's what we elected to do. So the next uh, slide, please. So five days ago, we did a radial angioplasty. Uh, we stented the left main into the LAD. And uh, that was the result on the right. And the next slide. And uh, also stented the distal. Um, we are off the air again. No, we can hear no, you. We can, we can hear you. Uh, okay, all right. And then so we sent it the distal RCA into the PLB. Yeah. 
So that's where we are now. So now five days down the line, we are ready for the endovascular repair. Sure, go ahead. Uh, now I'll uh, go back to the planning uh, planning slide uh, that we I showed you a little earlier, about three or four slides ahead of this. Uh, the neck was around 20, so we elected to take a device which has a diameter of 23. Uh, that's about uh, 10 or 15 percent oversizing. And the lower end which comes into the iliac, we, the iliac is around 10 or 11, so we have taken a device that ends as 13. Uh, so the device we have selected today, maybe we can bring it onto the table now, uh, is a new version of the Endurant device, it's called the Endurant 2. And uh, it's very similar to the uh, old Endurant, uh, only thing is that uh, the they have a wider range of sizes and uh, um, also I think the profile is a little lower in some of the sizes. Uh, this one is 18 French. Yeah, so 18 French is just 6 millimeters and this iliac seemed uh, larger than that. So this is what we are uh, going to take for the main aneurysm and uh, the right limb. George, this is Dr. Khanna. Do you Are consider there any comments uh, which uh, the uh, Good morning, this is morning. Dr. Khanna. Do you uh, plan to do a percutaneous uh, pre-close uh, for this patient because you are using endurant 2 and maybe it's a good case and a simple case for doing a pre-close and then yeah. doing it percutaneously? Yeah, I, absolutely. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, I haven't got on to that yet, but for the left side where I'll be putting a, uh, the contralateral limb which is about 16 or 14 French, I think. Yeah, there I'll be using a closure device. So I've got a cut down only on one side, but uh, your point is very valid. I think uh, we should be using, uh, make it entirely percutaneous with closure devices on both sides. Okay, if uh, that's okay with you, we'll, we'll, we'll start working now. We've got only 45 minutes to finish this case. So uh, I'll now introduce the main uh, device Beautiful from the right. Juice. Can you put this on the wire? Today's angios. Yeah, uh, while the device is coming on, I'll just run today's uh, angiograms. Uh, can we run, run one, please? Run it. Uh, yeah, not the run one, please. Yeah, that's the same thing which you saw uh, earlier. Now it's uh, in uh, real time, so to say. So the left renal is uh, marginally lower than the right renal. So we're going to end. I mean, uh, begin our device at the level of the left renal. So to ensure that we are at the right place, what I have done is to park a catheter from the left groin in the left renal artery. And uh, okay, the next angio please. And this is the lower end which we have seen as a still image earlier. There is quite a good uh, common iliac length, especially on the left side. So the length of device we have is a 145 on the right side. I think that would be enough for the right. Okay, the next angle. We have, uh, yeah, the, the, this, this image you are seeing, uh, what I said earlier, I am uh, marking the left renal artery with a right Judkins catheter and I have left a roadrunner wire within it. This will tell me where the renal is, I can test and uh, be sure that I am deploying the device at the right level. Uh, too high is bad because you would be occluding the renal, too low is also not good because you are losing some neck. Okay, so here we go, I am going in. Now as I go in, I have to make sure that the contra gate is pointing to the left side. So let's have a look a little lower down. Yeah, so here we 
we are coming in and uh, there is a black dot which uh, identifies the contra gate. So, uh, it is somewhere in the middle of the device. There are two black dots in the middle. Uh, the lower one is the lower end of the contra gate and the top end is where the, uh, the main body divides. So, I am keeping that lower middle one a little to the uh, pointed to the left. So, you can see that is pointed to the left. Okay. Now, we we'll look at the top. Yeah, at the top I am I'm, I'm almost at the right place. Uh, can we have one mark there? And uh, center that, center that renal. Yeah, that's it. Okay, a small test there, please. Okay, so you can see that uh, the catheter has come down a bit. Yeah, so I can actually go up till here. Okay, test again. Yeah, so this should be all right. So. I am beginning the release. We can do a slow release by just rotating this blue knob anti-clockwise. Okay, so there it goes. So now the, the first tent is opening out. Test again please. Yeah, it's probably okay. Let's check the contralateral gate. Show lower down. Yeah. Okay. Go back up. You can see a E at the top of the device, uh, which is what you should be seeing uh, when you want the contralateral gate to open on the left side. If you want it to open on the right side, then it should look like a nine. So, I am continuing the release. Now, the main body has been released. Now, I am beginning to open the region where there is a contra gate. Just one last test there. Yeah, okay. It is a conservative position. I am a millimeter below the renals actually. Okay, let's show lower down. Okay, so now we will we'll, uh, actually see the um, the contra gate uh, springing open. There you can see it. It just acquired that. So you, you can play, play, play that again. back again. Yeah. So that's that's the contra gate opening uh, onto the left side. Okay. And now at this stage uh, we could finish the release of the top of the device. Uh, yeah, just just a bit of a test there, just to s make sure we are all right. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to release the top now. There is a uh, no a round knob here, which is also blue, and you got to rotate it in the direction of the arrow that's on it. Uh, so here I go. So I'm rotating it and uh, that should open the top. Yeah. So, that opened the top. You can see that. Acquire that please. Now, the this is the free flow part of the device and uh, it has barbs on it and uh, this digs into the aortic wall and then it prevents migration of the device downwards. Yeah. So, this is clockwise. This way. Okay, so we that's that the other way. Yeah. Okay, I'm finishing this release process. Yeah. N now we could actually complete the release, and then we'll work on the contra gate. So, so we'll just check the renal, and then we'll remove the renal catheter. Center the renal. Yeah, the renal is flowing very well. I am actually uh, uh, maybe uh, one or two millimeters below that. So, we, we can take that off later. So, uh, show the lower end now. Yeah, so I am continuing the release and I am going to f 
finish the release from on the ipsilaterals iliac side. Okay, so the release is completed now and uh, the next thing is to get this delivery system out. So, show the top again. Yeah, release fully, fully released. Fully released. We have opened it right to the bottom. We have got Elvin from Metronic here giving us some suggestions and his uh, comment was that it is good to release the entire device before trying to get the delivery system out which is what we have done now and uh, the whole device is deployed. Now let us have a look at to the top please. The top. Yeah, okay. So now I am going to uh, reverse this uh, Move it up, yeah. About a centimeter or two away from the bar. And that's yeah, so now I, I rotate this blue knob in the opposite direction. Show a little higher up, please. So that brings the nose cone back onto the, that radio pick knob that you see. Yeah, so now the, the two are fixed. And then we now we bring the, that nose cone back in. Follow it down please, push the wire in, keep the wire in, the wire is coming back. Yeah, now we bring it down into the sheath there. Okay, so now it is in the sheath. So now we can actually leave this here and work on the contralateral side. Uh, we have to cannulate the contra gate and then uh, put an extension on the left side. So first thing I am going to do is get this catheter out. Show the catheter please. It is uh, right now it is trapped under the under the graft but that is ok. Uh, we will actually use a glide wire. The angled uh, thermo glide wire. Angled thermo glide angled. Wire, please. So, with a little bit of push and pull you can get this catheter out without uh, uh, displacing the graft. The graft is actually now anchored. Angled wire. Give me the angled thermo please. Yeah, so just give it. Keep the other glide ready. Other. Catheter, show the catheter. Okay, so the thermo has gone up and now I am pulling the, uh, the catheter down into the sack of the aneurysm. Okay, now we can use this catheter itself to try and uh, uh, try and cannulate the contra gate, but if that does not work then we will have to use some different uh, shapes. So, get the straight tip now. Straight tip glide. I find the straight tip thermo wire the best for this. It has a, it kind of goes straight in the direction where the catheter is pointing it. Yeah, so I don't know whether that is in yes, or outside. It is outside. outside. It, it looks like it is in, but uh, you could be fooled. So you need to try in different angulations and see which one will get you there. Okay, here I may actually want the angle because the straight is going angle under light. the gate and going laterally. Get the angled one please. And we need the talking device also. Now to talk this hydrophilic wire, I, I use a, 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 a talker made by Cook which is uh, called the Alcott talking device. It is a 
think we are in. Through no, it is not in. It is out. Okay, let us change our angulation a bit. Uh, come to a little RAO. Yeah, some more. Yeah, this is to maximally open out the contract gate. Sure. Show the top. This may be in. No, I think it is show down, down. Yeah, so I will, yeah, it yeah. looks like it is in. Uh, it is uh, one way to test, uh, confirm is to just inject some contrast, but uh, I think it is, it is correct. Let us uh, take, take the wire out. Dr. Joseph, this is Dr. Adiraju. What do you right, typically so to just inject? Yes. What do you typically do to confirm? You always inject, die. There are uh, many things you can do. Uh, this is uh, this is an easy way. The other one yeah. is you can get a pigtail in right. and rotate That's it around and uh, make just sure that it's spinning the correctly. Pigtail, yeah. Yeah, I think it's uh, they they all. Right. Yeah. Okay, get back the right. t angled uh, thermo, please. After you that, I want one more uh, stiff wire. Angled thermo. You can also use the reliant balloon to put it across the wire once you've crossed to confirm and dumbbell it into the stiff wire, open arm of the contralateral limb so that it dumbbells itself and everybody 100 percent sure that you're actually inside yeah. but what i do is that i actually rotate the catheter try to touch the other wire and if it touches and you can then see you it know moving there, you know yeah. that you're inside but it's important to make sure that you're in this looks perfectly yeah. okay follow it up come yeah. to ap view so up go up I found that many Where times if you are not able to cannulate the contract, okay, the, uh, the uh, no, 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 plats no. capture Backup. works yep. very well. That I, tip, I routinely use amplats. Yeah, I use a lot of amplats. With a woolly yeah. wire and a knuckle technique, if you just have a nice U-bend. Sure. And obviously, you right can, if you can't get an axis, you come from the radial and snare the wire out. Oh, okay. Yeah, you come okay. from the radial route and snare the wire out from the contralateral limb. Pull the back end out. So we were just dis discussing some of the methods to uh, cannulate the contralateral limb. Yeah, if all fails, then uh, you need to come from a brachial or radial approach, and uh, that usually works. Okay. Shall I? So we have now uh, another stiff wire going up the left side through the contra gate and both these wires are uh, backup mirror wires from uh, Boston Scientific. Uh, I like these, they are really supportive wires and they don't tend to kink uh, as much as some of the other wires. Okay, so now we will put a marker pigtail and we will measure uh, the length of this uh, uh, the pigtail? other side. Uh, from the contra gate right up to the uh, iliac bifurcation and then take the right length of uh, extension. Now you, we have a range of extensions, uh, we have uh, 80, 90 and 120 approximately. So we will just choose the right one. Show lower down please. Yeah, that is that's good. Yeah, so the first, uh, first marker is at the flow divider. And then give me some contrast. Okay, I'll just inject the up the sheath from this side, and uh, you can probably give me a little uh, RAO and a little caudal and caudal. Yeah, that's that's good. Yeah, we want to see the right side. Eh? I'm not getting the cine. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but we didn't. We should have been counting from. 
It's on the top. Okay, so we'll count Zero backwards. Fourteen. Uh, Zero, one, two, three. Three is where it touches the graft. Okay, now now go up, move up the table. Four, five, six, seven, eight. It's about eight centimeters totally. So we'll use your eighty. So what they're doing is right now to see okay. the okay. length of the contralateral limb. Yeah, and that's what you that, have that's zero. two things which need to be kept One, in two, mind. Three, four, five, is the six, seven, origin of eight, the internal zero. iliac because you don't to want to occlude it. So no, you no, don't show the top. Place your device just the lower end of the device, just above the left okay, internal okay, iliac. Okay. okay. So that's zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, nine is nine is over the internal iliac. Yeah, eight. No, nine is over the internal iliac. No. Internal iliac is down after the nine. Is that uh, yeah. some ectasia or something? It's an ectat <laughs> ectatic segment. It's the angle, it's the angle. Mm -hmm. See, the other side is much higher, no? So it's okay. Dr. Joseph. I think uh, eight is safer. I have a feeling that's the internal. It the angio you took yeah, it that's, just that's now. That's the same level as the other side. I'm not sure it's showing you yeah. the origin of the internal. Looks like it's coming higher. We, we are. Uh, I think the internal ileic yeah, is the in between the lower second and third mark. Over here. Some yeah. say that the yeah. yeah, what is that small bulge like thing a little above? I think it's the straightening yeah, of the vessel. The it's just a cordial effect. Like it's like a cordial yeah. That's just the yeah, cord hanger effect. Okay. Then we'll, uh, I'll, I'll take your opinion on that. So we'll take the 90 then. Yeah. I think 90 should be okay. No, but higher up it's okay. Yeah. 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 So the, yeah, we'll take the 90 then and uh, hope that uh, that's just a, maybe a straightening of the a bend in the artery or something like that. Yeah, once you release the hmm? stiff wire, they, you hmm? have more length there. Okay, we'll take the pigtail <laughs> out. True. Okay, so we are taking the pigtail out and uh, we are going to take the contralateral uh, extension which is uh, 90 millimeters in length. Can you flush that and bring it please? Okay, if you are done, I will remove the sheath and uh, okay, just get that. Keep a regular pigtail ready after this. Regular pigtail? Okay, this side is percutaneous, it's 14 French and, uh, and I'm going up and uh, is that okay? It's okay. I've lined up the top marker of this uh, limb with the flow divider and uh, that should give us a complete uh, overlap of that contra gate. So I am beginning the release now. 
Yeah, it's keeping it. Okay, now I can do a quicker release. Okay, so I've released it and uh, keep the hold the wire, please. I'm going to take the nose cone out. Okay, now give us a some sheet, 14 French, if you have. So we are going to remove both of these devices now. Uh, maybe you can give that 20 here. Do you have a 14? Yeah, give. So after that we may just balloon the, uh, the top of the device to, to get better apposition. Can you get a balloon ready? Uh, there, uh, Okay, take the eye up, make it AP, AP view, put the light on here, please. Okay, take this out. Yeah, that's good. 20 sheet. Get the sheet, please. Hold it. Four inch it. Okay, so I've replaced the delivery system with a sheet on the right side and I'm going to do that on the left also. Okay, get the left out. Sheet 14 up. Center it, please. While they're changing the sheet, uh, any comments right. on how routinely do you balloon the mar uh, fixation? Do you routinely balloon the fixation? I do, depending upon if the ather ather is yeah. very atheromantous, I'm a bit concerned. But uh, usually, you should. This is a self-fixating device, there are hooks at right, the top, right. but uh, I mean if put the, the balloon is smooth, right. you can balloon yeah. it. No, don't do anything, just it looks like a reasonable neck, right. uh, I don't think there would be a leak, but if it's a short neck, then obviously you need to balloon definitely. Uh, right, many no, times that's all. Do you routinely balloon all of them? Or Get the regular pigtail ready. Huh? Doubt or? Aneurysms, yes, yeah. Uh, but dissections, yeah, no. Dissections that we kinda? tend to avoid, but aneurysms, yes. But in short neck, uh, I mean, there is a risk if you balloon, you can actually… Follow it up, please. …because of right. the wind shock effect. Yeah, many times, even okay, when I balloon, I actually pace the heart to reduce the blood pressure. Because when you balloon, it creates the wind shock and whole device okay. moves down. Just exactly. Uh, so till you feel so some Unless uh, I routinely not balloon them unless there I is a lead. think that there is a need for okay, it. Okay, enough. Sure. Down. You felt the resistance? And if uh, I need to balloon, I usually take a trifoil balloon, so the wind shock is okay. much less. I don't now we'll do the lower end. Lower the pressure. Pull it back. Yeah. Shoulder sure, sure down. But they recommend yeah. to balloon down, the down, down. contact points, yeah. especially they the contact right. arm. That's, yeah. that's, that's a standard gentle. company gentle. recommendation. Yeah. Gentle, yeah. gentle. Okay, enough. Okay, now the, put it This on balloon the is a very, very soft out. balloon. It is right. not to expand, it is so just to passivate the So we balloon the top end. Yeah. Come what? on the left side. Come on the other side. Okay, we are almost done. We'll just uh, balloon the overlap zone of the contract gate and the contralateral extension and then we'll take the final angiogram. And uh, okay. hopefully we'll be done before we go off the air. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, just gently go up there. Okay, down. And pull down. Slowly, slowly. Slowly. Wait, is it is there? There's a bit of obstruction there. there. No. Yeah. Okay. Gently here. The amount okay, of pressure done. you exert is just to make it a cylinder rather than you're not going to expand anything. Right. Okay, Mark, I mean the regular pigtail. Okay. Out. Regular pigtail. I will aspirate from both the groins as we inject. Put the regular pigtail on any, any wire. Only? Yeah, come. Follow it up. Okay, wire out. Get the injector. Injector. Oh, that's correct. Twist. Yep. We need a breath hold. Just hold this. Yep. Okay, show the little lower down just a bit. Yeah, that's good. A little more, a table up maximum. Yes. Show a little lower. Yeah, that's good. Uh, you can see the whole device. 2018. Breath hold, please. Breath hold. Pull. Inject back. Okay, there is no endo leak and we are actually right. almost 5 millimeters below the left renal, so right. we could have been a little higher. Uh, we will just do one more to uh, see the iliacs, Inter but I think both the iliacs are spared, there is there's no, no question of having uh, lost the iliacs. Yeah, I mean the internal iliacs. Right. Yeah, so actually it, I think we are done. What we did as we injected was to aspirate through both the sheets and yeah, uh, that way you get a nice runoff yeah. down the vessel, just run it. Uh, that's a very useful important step to remember to aspirate both the sheets as you inject. You get a good view runoff of the internals. Did you, did you see the internals? We can't see it. It is spare, yeah. spare, there's no so doubt about it. Yeah, yeah the landing was no, we, we, we didn't, okay, we, we'll let's, let's repeat it and uh, we'll just do the… Yeah, I, I think I would suggest to pick, pull up that… Let's just do one little lower down. Jo George, would you like to pull up the left wire out so that you remove the accordion if it is there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure, that's a good idea. For me? The stiff wire out, yeah, now you will see the… Uh, Leave it. Yes, yeah, it's yeah, perfect. Inject it back. Yeah, we are well above the internals on both sure. sides. So yeah, that's what I you think actually uh, had the more length. The AT would have been shorter. That's yep. fine. It yeah. would have fallen short. Mm. See that accordion effect yeah. is gone, you have a lot of length. Yeah. 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 Length, yeah. It's a great… So uh, yeah, that's a good suggestion. It's they a great even uh, have used the clean case demonstration, like demonstration Dr. Joseph. Yeah, good. So he's done less than… We thank you very much. Okay. What we're going to do now is to put a closure device and… Uh, Any questions? Right.